righty. Burning a few more seconds, letting you get comfortable. All right, we all good to go, guys? Welcome to the How Men Project, Roman. Thank you. Um, let's start by having you tell us a little bit about yourself. So, uh, tell us where you are from originally. So I, uh, I grew up in a place called Rockland County, which is a little bit outside of New York City. Uh, that's where I went to uh, high school, uh, middle school, high school, elementary school, all that. Um, and then went to college upstate in New York and then lived in the city for a few years before moving to Rhode Island and Boston. So, East Coast accent, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, so when I first actually, for the first time, I didn't actually, it was one of those things where I was in the shower and I was just kind of touching myself and one thing led to another and it felt good. So I just kept kind of going, but it got to the point where I was just like, like kind of like it was sensitive, <laughs> like, and I was just like I, I couldn't get myself to come because every time I would get to that point, it was just like, uh. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely remember the first few times getting you know into that, you know. Uh, Were you someone that like once you discovered that it was like obsessed? It was so it it progressed from just. And then into actually like inserting things in my butt and playing with my butt and um, got into that whole thing uh, at a young age. So yeah, experimenting for sure. <laughs> so it's not really when I was experimenting, but it was more a little after my teenage years. And uh, I was driving my car and I had a like one of those TV CD things that you could watch stuff. And I thought it would be a great idea to put a while I was driving on the highway and got pulled over by a cop while I was in the middle of jerky. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. <laughs> what did you get off for the warning? I did not happened? get off with the I got a ticket for having it above the dashboard. And thankfully when he pulled me over, I didn't have my pants down. So who? <laughs> um I'd say geez. <laughs> uh probably at least uh if not once a day, at least like uh if I may skip a day or something in a week, but yeah, I'd say five to six times a week. It used to be more, but I feel like maybe getting a little older. <laughs> I guess like I'm a visual person. So, um, I mean, it's very much easier for me to get off when I'm watching a video. Um, but throughout my years in definitely gotten to the point where I've been able to program my mind into seeing certain things or things that turn me on. So uh, whether or not I play uh, uh, maybe a scene that I've been in myself or reenact something in my head, just kind of close my eyes and get into that, you know, situation or that moment and just think about that. And it kind of, it's easier to get me to that point. of. Uh, I played soccer in high school and my coach used to tell me not before a game and he said it would don't don't like uh, release the baby batter from the brain up and make y'all and you'll play wrong but honestly I feel like that had the opposite effect if I was able to release that stress I feel like I was more clear-headed um I f don't know if it affects what you said but I mean like it definitely uh makes me more attentive to things being able to like focus more and not be like wandering off and it's kind of I don't know I feel like when I'm all pent up I just I'm not there mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom and dad, but I should brush. <laughs> I think you're going to watch. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, I, I remember being in the shower and something other than my finger. Because, I mean, like, I had to be like this. And I was just like, I want just something to stay in there. So I just opened the shower and there was a brush with the perfect, like, smooth base to it. And <laughs> there it was. <laughs> I'd say that was the weirdest thing, maybe. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I, I, I think it's weird just because it was my parents' brush. <laughs> I washed it after, don't worry. Oh, that differs usually every time. I mean, I've had times where I've been able to finish in two minutes. I've had times where I have 10 minutes plus, And then others where, honestly, it's, I couldn't. Um, 
maybe it's the mindset you're in. You know, I've had really bad days and I just kind of wanted to get, get one out and it didn't really happen. I think it's a lot in your mindset and how you are and how you're doing um, that differs whether or not I'm going to come fast or not. So it's like, there's like, so when you're using your hands and you have your four fingers underneath, there's like an area on the tip of my where most guys know, but it's like right below your pee hole where, yeah. You know, and you just like, kind of like, I usually try to stroke that and do it like with pressure, you know, I've before and then it don't put much pressure on it. And it's not as easy for me to come as if there was some tight grip on it. You know? <laughs> oh God. I, uh, ever since working, uh, with some more of like risque bondage companies, I I've, been introduced to other things but I mean personally I, I've always just liked uh, lots of kissing touching uh, exploring like with my tongue my mouth uh, just feeling getting to be intimate with somebody in that sense not really much of like uh, tie you up paddle you type thing but yeah I mean I, I'd do it I'm into it but <laughs> more sensual touching and, and kissing I'm a very big person when it comes to uh, making out, so I have a weird I like people's tongues. <laughs> Not very many people go, I mean, especially uh, when I've been having just outside of the industry. Not very many people go for your butt or, or play with your ass. Not really necessarily finger ass, but just playing with the outside ass. That's definitely hot and it's definitely a turn on. Um, not very many people do that. I'd have to ask for it usually. <laughs> I, it's weird because, you know, I have friends who are completely straight and they get pegged by their girlfriend. You know, they actually are open about using toys or doing things like that, but they're very straight and masculine. And if I was like, did you sleep with a guy? I don't know. But like, but they'll use a, a toy or get pegged by a girl. So I, I feel like everybody in a sense probably has experienced something along those lines where it gets close to butt stuff <laughs> and play, but not very many people are open about it. I feel like, especially when you're like with a group of guys who are more bro straight, like when I was in playing soccer, like nobody would openly admit, you know, playing around with their butt or inserting things in their butt. But I feel like a lot of people do it and not very many people talk about it. If you're able to express that to somebody yourself, it's more likely they'll be able to talk about their experiences with it as well. I personally don't. Um, I mean, if somebody said that to me, I would probably not date them. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of, that's tough. I, I do know people that are like, oh, why are you when you have me and you could be having me type of thing. Um, so there has been that circumstance where it's like, you know, why are you in there? You can be me. Um, so and that, it's not really cheating, but it's more of like, have some respect. I'm here waiting in bed. Come with me. Don't go in bad material kind of thing. Oh, God. I have unfortunately had the unpleasant experience of, having blue balls before and I used to uh always think about you know oh this person is gonna give me blue balls like joking not really noting what it was but it's actually very very painful it almost feels like you have a hernia right above your nuts and it's like a it's very painful but if you push yourself to the limit more times than you could count and don't come eventually it'll build up and it'll back up and it'll get blue balls and it's very very painful <laughs> Not fun. Me personally, I always just like to, you know, prepare my hygiene, shower, obviously, clean myself very well. Because I know I'm about to do something with somebody else and their mouth and their face is going to be in places that people don't usually put their mouth and faces all the time. <laughs> so having that clean, your feet, you know, and all that stuff and underneath your arms, it's just respectful to other people um, that you're shooting with. And uh, I tend to go pretty in depth when it comes to doing that mouthwash and all that stuff. And sometimes a little trick of Listerine on the butt helps. <laughs> can't, can't go wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, 
I see you only live once. You only get one one chance to experiment with with life and your body and yourself. So I mean, at the end of the day, if you're if you're not gonna push your limits to see what you may or may not be into, at the end of the day, you'll never know. There are plenty of things that I would have never known I was into if I haven't experimented with it. I'm grateful for doing that. Um, so I mean, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't let yourself fall short by not giving yourself the opportunity to be able to experience things that you may or may not like. If you don't like it, don't do it again. But, you know, you never know if you might like something that you haven't done before. So, Awesome. Well, speaking of doing things, I think we're going to maybe have you do a little something that we just finished talking about.